Good afternoon. It is five after two on Thursday. Uh, uh, anybody watching? How you doing? How you been? Uh, it is currently 24 degrees Celsius right now. I have no idea if there's any humidex, but it is nowhere near as hot and muggy as it was supposed to be today. I think we're supposed to get to like somewhere in the 30s with the humidex. Uh -uh. But it's also supposed to start raining in about an hour. So we'll see what happens after the rain. It's very cloudy right now. It was really windy a little while ago. I'm going to turn my car off here. We don't need that running. <coughs> Stop driving back and forth. You can't be in my vlog. No, you cannot. So, yeah, it's been, it's been home early, like, pretty much every day this week. My paycheck is going to suck next week. Not impressed. Not impressed. I was, however, pleasantly surprised when my boss came and picked me up this morning that my co-worker's back. Yay! Yay, co-worker friend. <laughs> uh -uh. She took roughly a week off. Um, she was having some medical stuff, so. <sighs> she seems to be doing better. I was very happy to hear. Mm -mm. We dropped my bo we actually dropped my boss off <laughs> at like noon. I think it was like around noon. She was saying she had something to do with one of her kids that she had to be done by one or something. And I was like, well, you know, we're around your place right now. We could drop you off and just do the last two houses ourselves. <laughs> Easy houses. She's like, okay, sure. <laughs> like, sweet. <laughs> we actually went into her backyard we were like because she had this huge tree in her backyard that when we had that huge windstorm what was that like two weeks ago now i think it took down this huge maple tree destroyed her back fence there's a trans like a, a pole with a electrical transformer on it that came down like it was yeah she showed me pictures it was just absolute chaos back there but they've got it all cleaned up now more like the tree is all cleaned up. They got it all cut up and stacked and whatever. Um, and they've sort of Mickey Mouse the fence. Um, but when the, the machines came in to chop up this tree and whatever, um, it left all kinds of ruts and whatever in the lawn. So they'd come back and filled it in with dirt. So she's got all these dirt spots, <laughs> like random dirt spots. And uh, some of her stone walkway got wrecked. She's going to have to replace that. Um, and then she's got rocks at the bottom of the, like, kind of lining this, filling in this pathway or whatever. And dragging everything out, all that got, you know, dragged out with. So they raked back in what they could and whatever. But, I mean, the yard looks huge now without that tree there. <laughs> ginormous and it's full sun now which I think is nice my backyard is full sun it would be even more so if I could cut down the tree that's growing over my shed from my neighbor's place but I like it you can get much prettier flowers I feel when you have more sun in your yard and I just like the sun so I mean I have a shady spa space to go sit and whatever but and so does she. She's got the same sort of idea on her deck. So it's not like there's nowhere shady to go sit and whatever, but it's just nice, I feel, to have that, a nice sunny yard. Your grass is greener. And, I mean, you've got to water it. You know, it's just nice. It, 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 I think it looks so much bigger. It looks so much nicer without that tree. So it was kind of interesting to go see that. And then we left her. And we went and finished the last two houses. 
Excuse me. <sighs> I think we did maybe five today it was it was it was a quick day it was a quick it's been a quick week like yeah but whatever yesterday I think they dropped me off probably about the same time probably probably well we were done work today about quarter after one I think yesterday I was probably home by about two ish and then it was a mad dash to get my yards cut because I knew the rain was coming today. But it also said it was supposed to be like between 32 and 35 with the Humidex. I was not dealing with that shit. It wasn't too bad yesterday. It was just really sunny. Um, and I had loads of time. Like it was fine. So I just sort of, you know, I do my backyard sit down for a minute and I do my, to mow my driveway so I mow my driveway sit down for a minute mow my side lawn sit down for a minute <laughs> and then I do the front <clears throat> so it was fine it was done everything by I don't know four ish and I was watching this podcast um I think it was her podcast that Emily D. Baker does. I love her so much. It was on uh, Michael Orr. If you've ever watched The Blind Side, the kid whose life that is based on. Um, he is under conservatorship, which I found both fascinating and. Uh, rage inducing quite frankly um, my understanding of a conservatorship is for somebody who is of not not of sound mind and body to take care of themselves financially what have you um, that is not the case with this gentleman as far as I know I mean he was a football star so he was physical <laughs> he went to college or university so so, on a scholarship to boot, if I remember correctly, um, yeah, I don't think there was anything wrong with him mentally either. So I sort of watched that as I took my pauses when I was doing my yard yesterday. Rage inducing case. Rage inducing such utter BS like it, it just I loved that movie so much and now it's like like you just yeah wow wow <laughs> if you like legal breakdowns I highly recommend checking out yesterday's podcast it's up on her channel it's Emily D. Baker I can't remember what the video was called but something about being blindsided anyway it has a picture from the movie on it I do believe um yeah yeah rage inducing <laughs> so if you watch it prepare to get angry <laughs> I will be following that yes I will and I will be just as angry <laughs> The unbelievable amounts of bullshit that people will do to other people and then have the audacity to call them family. Really? Really? Fuck out of here. <laughs> I would say if any drop of that was true, I'm speechless, but I'm speechless anyway because the conservatorship is a fact. So... And it says right in the in the paperwork that he is that back then as as much as now, perfectly sound mind and body, perfect sound mind and body, absolutely nothing wrong with the kid. I think it was back in two thousand four or two thousand nine, something like that. And homeboy just found out that it was a conservatorship in February of this year. That is insane. All this time he thought the paperwork that he signed was for adoption and it was a fucking conservatorship my guy 
the balls on this family. Holy shit. And I want to know what's up with the judge. Like, who was sucking this judge off? Like, what? <laughs> it says right in the court papers of sound mind and body. Like, it's not those words, but essentially that's what what they're talking about. There's nothing mentally or physically wrong with him that would need hit that would usually is the call for being in a conservatorship. Like absolutely insane. Absolutely insane. But whatever. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I was actually talking to my kids about it yesterday. It got me so upset I had to speak to the children. What about the children? <laughs> <clears throat> and I sat down with Monkey last night and watched the season four finale of Stranger Things. I've already seen it. We did not tell Monkey that. <laughs> <coughs> but I'm glad I did because there was actually some stuff in there that I missed the first time around. So I did not catch it. I was not paying attention apparently. So we really enjoyed it. It was good, but it was like quarter to 11 or 11 o'clock, something like that by the time it was done. So Monkey had to go to bed. I am trying to convince him to get himself onto a school schedule now because he's going to have to be starting to get up at like 6 a.m. to catch the bus. I'm pretty sure by like quarter after 7, 20 after 7. So, he needs to start going to bed earlier because lately it's been anywhere, I mean, I don't go to bed anywhere until like 12.30 and maybe 2 in the morning and I'll always check, I always check on him before I go to bed to make sure he's in bed and usually he's still up, so that needs to stop. But live and learn. I mean, he'll 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 miss the bus once and that's it. Your your sweet monkey butt is walking to school cuz I ain't taking you. It's not happening. I ain't got that kind of time in the morning. My ride shows up at my house between quarter to 8 and maybe 5 after 8. You're walking. And it's a long walk. <laughs> It'll happen once, it'll never happen again. Live and learn. Of course, he'd be calling me, I don't know how to get to the school. I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> it's the other end of town, bud. <laughs> He's never been down that way. No reason to go down that way. <laughs> Turn your data on, find a map, <laughs> follow the map. <laughs> I just stopped off at the superstore here to pick up burgers, buns, and potato chips. That will be dinner tonight. Oh, here comes the rain! Got my coffee all ready, so all I need to do is make it from the car to my house. <laughs> rain all you like. I do not care. I beat you. Ah! Because I think I... Pick Boo Boo up at 7 today. He's working a weird shift. Hence the burgers. And the rain is getting into the car. Put the rest of my windows up. There we go. So, yeah. Hopefully there'll be a break in the rain so I don't get soaked trying to go get Monk or er, go get Boo Boo. We need this rain. I don't want to have to go out and water my plants. <laughs> I don't want to. But I want them to keep looking pretty. So go ahead and rain. Go ahead and rain. 
I'm gonna cook up some of my HelloFresh bags tonight. I, I haven't done any cooking for me this week. I just haven't been hungry. But I gotta cook them up. <sighs> then if need be, I can freeze them. It's fine. <coughs> I think tonight I will do up the ravioli because it's so good. And I will do up the burger. The burger one that I get, it's that paneer cheese stuff that you fry. It's awesome. In lieu of a, any kind of patty. They're so good. I love those burgers so much. So I think I'll cook both of those up tonight. And then I'll just have, I think it's a, some kind of rice dish. Can't remember. Um, I'll do that up tomorrow. My boyfriend went for his MRI today. And I think it was like inconclusive. They couldn't tell anything for sure. So they want to send him to another specialist. <sighs> it's so frustrating. <sighs> but they're leaning towards some pretty scary shit right now. That I'm not going to get into because it's not my thing. But yeah, it's scary. So we'll see. He said they took like 10 vials of blood so that they can run a whole bunch of tests before he gets in to see the specialist to see what they can find. I don't know. I don't know. I gotta call him when I get, well, I'll call him. I'll text him when I get home and let him know I'm gonna call him. When I'm done cooking and stuff, you know. That way I have nothing distracting me. I don't have anything going on. Maybe I should wait till I pick up Monk Boo Boo. I want to be able to sit down and actually listen and take it all in and stuff. Like I don't want to be distracted and, you know. Yeah. So anyways, I'm going to boot. Anyways, it's going to be a rather quick video, probably under 20 minutes. But, uh, yeah, I'm worried about him. I'm worried about my big daddy. But anyway, yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to jump. Um, so anybody watching, thank you. I appreciate you. Take care of yourself and we'll talk later.